Bracken County farmer Tom Malone harvested his five acres of switchgrass this fall for the final time under the University of Kentucky's four-year pilot project. Malone is one of 20 producers in Northeast Kentucky who signed up to grow five acres each of switchgrass, and this may be the best year yet for the crop, despite a drought at the end of the growing season. Malone expects the crop to yield seven or eight tons per acre this year, which speaks well of the resiliency of switchgrass. Yeah, the proof lies here on the ground. It, it's very drought tolerant and doesn't get affected as uh, a lot of other forages. With this being the final year of the UK switchgrass study, producers like Tom Malone will now just have to wait and see what the future of the crop is from here. The switchgrass that has been grown during the project has been transported to the East Kentucky Power Cooperative's Spurlock Station in nearby Maysville, where it has been supplemented with coal to produce electricity. That may still be an option for growers if they continue on their own. The power companies are still uh, debating what to do and how to go about it. Uh, we're taking a look here, uh, a group here in the county is looking into maybe a residential or light commercial uh, direction to move in. These type of green energy crops are going to have a place. Tom Keene, a UK forage specialist now. who worked uh, with producers on the switchgrass project, says there is a market for switchgrass as a home heating source and other options, but he remains optimistic about the future. There's a market with home heating stoves and stoves to heat your greenhouse and shops and those kind of things. Those markets are available. So there's some work being done on that, and uh, we think that uh, if we can just keep the momentum going, not have it die back, then we feel like we're on the right track and we're going to continue to push this forward. Keene says another two-year project is already underway where producers are growing an additional 700 to 750 acres of switchgrass in Kentucky and with surrounding states under a government mandate to use green energy, it only enhances the future of switchgrass. I think the numbers begin to gel a little bit to where it gives a farmer opportunity to make some money, grow a green energy crop, do great things for the environment, clean up the air, great for wildlife, great for water, erosion control, and those kind of things. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.